Friday, welcome back to the channel. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. I am sporting my Gourmet Pens shop shirt. And if you have seen recent videos where I was wearing it, it's because I've done a few videos in a row. It's not because I only wear this shirt. But I would because it is that cool. Anyways, today's video is on the third in the series of Diplomat videos. Uh, I started with the Magnum. And then there was a traveler and now you're doing the arrow and i'm really excited about this one i kind of saved it for this because i was like really excited because these ones have the gold nibs and i really really like the gold nibs so anyways just like the last two videos this was made possible by the diplomat distributor in canada so a huge thank you to them because otherwise i would not be able to bring you all this diplomat content so i'm very excited about this so let's get cracking First up, let me just give you an idea um, about, the, no, let me open it, then I can read, read about it. So the packaging, Diplomat has some pretty standard packaging for their higher end pens, a sleeve, a metal top, which adds some weight, but then a, uh, like a paper bottom and the pen would just sit on the bed here. So I know that's blowing out with the lights, but sorry. Um, Underneath is the International Diplomat Guarantee card, but other than that, I find it a bit weird, like I don't understand, but I really like this bottom part because you can reuse it, so it's just nice, like on your desk, like as a pencil tray or something, so yeah, it's recyclable, reusable, it has some weight without being like just garbage, so I don't get it entirely, but I'm okay with it, so that's okay. And I also have some fun stuff. Oh. I don't know what that is. Hey, cancel the alarm. Okay, I have, Diplomat actually has leather cases, which I didn't even know. So they sent me the three case and the one case, and I've got the arrows in here. So I have four arrows in here. It's very exciting. Um, yeah, so let's take these bad boys out. Oh, did I mention that it was the very cool flame finish? I did not. It is the very cool flame finish. And yes, I know it's disgusting. I've got four of them on hand right now, but it's because I needed one of each of the gold nibs to try out and share with you. So I have four nibs, four pens. So first of all, let me just read a bit. Um, sorry, I'm gonna close this. Uh, forged in fire, designed for innovation. Introducing Diplomat's Aeroflame collection. This pen is crafted to showcase the versatility of metal, and there's no better way than to pair it against the elements. This is made of stainless steel, so it's a heavier pen than the regular arrow, and they have been set under a blowtorch, ensuring a unique style on every fine writing instrument. Remember, the flame had the same thing. Um, these are just much bigger and more substantial, so it's very cool. Uh, and then they're lacquered so that it's it has a sheen and, and the finish kind of stays like intact, like it doesn't get scratched up very easily. The hues and textures are truly original, and any pen lover is sure to appreciate the craftsmanship. In 1900, the Zeppelin airship began its test first test flight under the aeronautical leadership of Earl von Zeppelin. Based on this event and the design of the airship, Diplomat introduces the arrow pen to the market. It's characterized by groove-like depressions on the barrel and cap, which lends the pen next to its classic form, a modern spirit. It is very cool. So the nibs are 14 karat gold. I have an extra fine, fine, medium broad to share with you. So let's just look at the pen. It is a beaut. Um, it's just really cool. I love the clip. It's very close to the body, like very low profile, um, springy. It says diplomat, Germany on the back. It's just really cool. Like it's almost like a fidget toy, like just spinning it, watching the pattern, like the grooves, like feeling it. It's very tactile. So I really like it uncapped it does have a metal section but it has texture so it's not slippery 
and the cap is friction fit so it just glides on there and snaps closed beautiful very comfortable pen in hand it is heavy i find it okay because it's quite well balanced so like right in the middle there um you can post it's a little ridiculous because it's really heavy so I, I wouldn't recommend it but if you're a poster you can do it uh standard international cartridge converter and i have them inked up already so let's do one thing quickly which is the boring it's boring for me i really don't like showing the pen against other pens just because it doesn't appeal to me like i i don't look at the size of the pen before i buy it i just kind of get it i'm like oh i want that pen and i get it but for you my friends i will show you okay so here's the arrow <coughs> sorry i don't know why i coughed over there my mic's down here uh, there's the arrow magnet. I guess I should have seen that coming. Good Look, okay. <sighs> the precious didn't fall. Okay. Uh, that's embarrassing. Arrow magnum. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> Pilot Metropolitan. Uh, Leonardo Momenta Zero. Lamy Safari. Diplomat Traveler. Jinhao X750. Uh, Twisby 580. Uh, Caveco Sport. Oh, I hate my life right now. Platinum Preppy. Twisby Echo. Eco. Echo. Whatever. Economical. Um, so let's be gentle. There you go. It is a nice size pen. It's large. It's a full size. It takes up a nice amount of space. Uh, feels really good in hand, but thank goodness it is not hugely oversized. So, there is that. I think we should write. Let's write. I'm really excited. Okay, I'm really excited. Can you tell? Maybe a little too excited. Sorry. So, here's what I think. The Magnum is a fantastic entry-level, gifting, penabling, knockabout, not worry about what happens to it pen. And it writes really well. Super reliable steel nib. The Traveler is truly a traveling pen. It's slim, it fits into pen, pen loops, it's hardy, uh, nice slip cap as well, just weirdly comfortable. So I'll link to the videos for these two pens so you can check them out. Easily pens you can give to someone and not worry that it's not going to write. Like, really reliable pens the arrow if you're looking for something special like one pen for yourself that's unusual like you're like oh i don't want just like a black mont blanc or something N not knocking a black mont blanc i have one but i mean you want something unusual and also kind of luxurious it's beautiful and if you don't want the gold nib you can also get the steel nib so the arrow with a steel nib is 330 Canadian, give or take. Uh, you can often find them on sale, so keep an eye out. Uh, if you wanna add the gold nib, it's $190 Canadian. So I think it's, the base price is a little high, but when you average it out with the gold nib in the end, it's like, whatever, totally fine with me. I have done worse. I have definitely, definitely done worse. So let's write. This is the, Diplomat Arrow, and it is the flame, such, you know, Diplomat is so underrated, like they're so comfy, and the nibs are incredible. So this is the 14 karat, get ready for this, extra fine. Here's what's really nice about it. It actually writes like an extra fine it's not wet it's not super dry but it's like it's serving its extra fine purpose and i really appreciate that because i don't know i like it it's on the firmer side so it gives you very precise extra fine because you know a lot of people are like oh gold nibs are soft this one is not soft it is a firm nib and it's a beautiful writer so let me just do this. Seven wildly painting 
Fruit flies. Okay, now we are going to switch to the medium nib. Um, let me just show you the nib. The nib is two-tone. It has the Diplomat flower on it. No breather hole, single slit. Just like the details, like the engraving and stuff like that. But really cute little nib. I like it. So this is the, oh no, this is a medium. I want the fine. Where's my fine? That's the broad. Wow, apparently I got mixed up. They are hard to tell apart when you got four of the exact same pen. So this is the fine. It writes like a fine. I truly think one of the best things about Diplomat is their accuracy, consistency, and just like, do they just nail it? So this is Diplomat uh, Moss Green, and this one is the orange, hence orange, it is orange. And seven wildly. What I want to say, what I think is really interesting about these, especially, is they're not gushers, so they're very consistent and they're not they're not over polished. And they have a slight bit of feedback. Not a not a lot. It's not like Aurora or Sailor amounts. It's just like a tiny bit. So even though they're gold nibs, they're still like tactile, like like feedback. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, I really, really like the writing experience. So the medium's a little wetter. Again, a very true medium. Um, this ink is Diplomat Lilac. I really like this one. It dries to a really nice purple. I'm gonna say something insane. I actually like the medium nib more than the broad nib. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the broad nib. It's beautiful. It's just the medium just feels like the right in between for me. The broad nib is is beautiful. I mean, okay, never mind. Don't don't listen to me. I don't know what I was thinking. But it is really nice. The broad is much smoother, so you have less of that feedback. Man, these are nice writers. I don't know why they're not more popular. I don't know if it's just because they're not as flashy. I mean, this one's pretty flashy. They have a lot of color options. They've, I don't know, they're just, they're really good. They write really well. So if you're looking for something that just writes really well and is a super solid pen, I would absolutely recommend Diplomats because I don't even know why I don't have one. I mean, now I have a whole bunch, but like, it's just like, it's just flown under the radar. And I'm like, why? It's, it's such a nice writer. So I would absolutely go for the gold nib because I just really like the two-tone look. Whatever, I'm vain. Um, hello. I fear I'm going to miss something because I don't usually do multiple nibs in a video. So if you have questions, please ask and I will do my best to get to you. Um, I know I haven't answered my comments in a while. It's just I'm trying to keep up, but there's a lot. Um, I want to do the side writing. So let's go do that so we can take a look at the body up close. We can check out the nibs up close and uh, then we'll come back.
so I'm hugely grateful to Diplomat for making this possible. I hope it's useful for you. Um, I don't get anything like if you, I there's no commission here or anything. Um, I am going to be carrying these in the shop just because they're kind of like they fit my niche, like with the color and the fun and stuff like that. But um, you can get them anywhere you want and keep an eye on retailers. They do go on sale. You do get deals. And if you can get one on sale more so like even more worth it. So yeah, a huge thank you to Diplomat. I'm really grateful. Uh, I really have enjoyed these nibs a lot. So thank you. And thank you all for watching. Thank you so much. Uh, again, if you have any questions, just leave them below. I am Gourmet Pens. You can find me on the socials and website at Gourmet Pens. And also Gourmet Pens Shop, like my shirt. And if you feel like it, you can lend your support on Patreon, but you don't have to. It's just if you feel like it and it helps me pay bills and, um, like, do stuff, you know. Like, survive. Boring. So this is Diplomat, and this is Gourmet Pens, and I am signing out. Hope you had fun. See you guys next time.